I'm Kathleen Whippler and I've been coming to Harvest for about just over seven years now. And my story started uh, probably just over a couple of years ago. We had been blessed with a beautiful baby girl and uh, decided that we wanted to expand our family. So we started trying for another baby and um, I, uh, I suffered a m miscarriage early on um, and just couldn't seem to fall pregnant after that. We, you know, decided to get some help and we tried um, fertility drugs and uh, unfortunately those, those didn't help any. And then after a while I, I decided, well, maybe we, we should be done and um, I went to go for some counselling and the counsellor said to me, if, you, if you're here it means you're not done trying. So I um, went back, spoke to my husband and we decided to, to go back to the doctor. They decided that um, to send my file to a doctor who happened to be on mat leave and so she just pushed, her office just pushed my file through to uh, the fertility clinic in Saskatoon. And there they told me I had unexplained infertility and that uh, the best approach would probably be um, in vitro, in vitro fertilization. So we embarked on that journey. Um, it's quite an emotional journey and a lot that goes on. <laughs> and uh, we tried the first round and uh, sadly that was unsuccessful. Um, and it took a bit of, you know, it took a bit of emotional toll. So we waited for a while um, and then went back and decided after talking to them that we would try uh, a second round. Um, but that would probably be it. Going through all that, I even took time off work and I was spending time, you know, with God. And during one of my prayer times, I, I felt that um, God was prompting me to look up the meaning of a name that both my husband and I had liked for a boy um, when we were talking names the first time around. So, um, and the name was Matthew. And uh, I really felt strong urging to look up the meaning. And the meaning of the name means gift from God. And uh, I really felt that God was saying that he was going to give me a gift of a child, um, which is always exciting to hear when, <laughs> when you're doing in vitro. We did the second round and you usually get the, the phone call, they phone you to let you know and uh, you usually get it in the afternoon. My husband had actually taken the afternoon off, um, but the phone call came in early and I was actually by myself when I got it. I thought for a moment there I was excited because I thought oh, if it's early maybe. <laughs> That was good news, but uh, sadly it was not. It had not worked. As you can see, it's still even emotional now. After I, you know, told them that we were done and that they could close the file, got off the phone and, and cried for a bit. <laughs> and it was in that moment that I, I actually audibly, almost audibly, heard the devil say, "What are you going to do now?" Almost in that mocking voice. What are you going to do? Your God has failed you. Uh, he said he was going to give you a gift of a child and he hasn't. So what are you going to do? I couldn't believe it. It was just like, you know, really, I'm like in my most vulnerable state right now. And of course, your, <laughs> your hormones aren't exactly what they should be either after all that. And uh, I just remember getting down on my knees and um, I said to him, go away. In Jesus' name, you go away because I will not lose my faith over this. I will not. I will serve God and I will serve the Lord. And I said, you get behind me because I will get my gift from God. I didn't know how it was going to look like or what it was going to be. So I said, it will happen and you can go away. And he did. <laughs> he says, resist the devil and he will flee. And he went. My husband came home, cried some more. <laughs> and then we gave away our baby stuff. <laughs> And uh, the very next month, the very next month, we felt pregnant naturally. And we were blessed with a beautiful baby boy who is now called Matthew. He's now two and a half years old and a very active, beautiful boy. 